All right. <laughs> yeah, make that objective. Yeah. All right, when presenting the numbers, accentuate with both voice and body language all the positive numbers. John, uh, market value is $42,995. We're buying your trade for $8,000. And by the way, that will also provide you a $480 tax credit. You see which numbers I'm accentuating? Now watch how I run through the rest of them. And the rest of these numbers are taxes and fees. I don't go line by line. Managers, do you want your people to go line? And the doc fee, shit, look at that, 422. <laughs> <laughs> no, if a, if a customer stops me, I'll, I'll explain any number on any worksheet. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Because where's the customer's focus going to be in most cases? Payments. What, um, What's your finance penetration? 75, 80. Uh, Dan, what's the finance penetration for this organization, roughly? Uh, on, in general, 85. It's been on downward tech a little bit. But. Well, let's don't be negative, Dan. Okay. <coughs> well, last year, uh, probably 85. So the vast majority of your customers are making a decision based on what? Payments. The Payments. monthly payment, OK? So it'll be, here's the market price, here's what we'll buy yours for, here's a great big discount, here's a great big rebate, here's what we'll buy yours for, and the rest of the numbers are just taxes, taxes, fees, and your payoff. Now, over here, then you get excited again. And if the customer stops you and says, hey, what is that doc fee? Then explain the doc fee, okay? Um, describe, uh, every, describe and quantify every discount, every rebate, uh, tax credit, let the prospect know you will buy their trade as opposed to allow, give, or appraise, okay? Buying is a stronger word. Matt will buy your vehicle for eight grand as opposed to Matt will allow you $8,000, okay? Um, elements of the payment stories. None of you have told, told the payment stories yet. I forced, uh, I forced David to. What's good about a short term? Quicker payoff. Less Fewer finance charges, so, so I save money mm -hmm. and trade faster. Mm -hmm. That's all you need right there. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you a 48-month payment. Most people in, in Pennsylvania will not. Um, I'm showing it to you because it's a better way for you to finance a car, all right? Save money, pay off quicker, trade sooner. Now, at 60 months, by the way, every term is a great term. I love every term. At 60 months, shoot. Payment's way more comfortable. It's also more flexible because, Rose, if you want to pay it off early and get all those cool things I just talked about at 48, just do it. There is no prepayment penalty. Get a raise, get a bonus, win some money in the lottery, pay it off early, up to you. And right in the middle at 54 months, the best of both worlds. Which one works best for you? Cash down, look. You don't want to put any cash down, I get it, not a problem. If you do put cash down, your payment goes down, your finance charges go down, you pay it off quicker, you trade sooner. Completely up to you because we're going to do it your way because we're going to do it their way anyway, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. All we have to do is make an effort to educate them. All right, um, don't offer your... Customer more than three or four payment options. The best way to limit the uh, payment options is to get a cash down commitment or um, David and Seth both got a term commitment. That works fine too. All right, I prefer cash down. You guys did term. Wh whatever works best for you. You got me to commit to a term, then was, and then David, you, got, you guys couldn't see it, but he drew a line through the top two sets of payments. So I only had three to choose from. Okay, next, uh, page three. Maybe the most important sentence in this booklet, ask your customer to buy repeatedly. But in order to do that, you need to know some different closes. Your first close is almost always going to be your alternative choice because of the way your deals are written up, which is perfect. Give me a... 